by instruction of the Home Front Guidelines, Israeli schools have resumed their programs this morning. Just one day after Iran fired missile drones directly at Israel, schools, social gatherings and public areas have resumed operating. The Iranian missile fleet arrived in Israel at approximately 2 a.m. on Sunday, causing schools to shut down for the day. Today, however, the threat is not felt across Israelis, and the Home Front Command has lifted the safety restrictions. The Home Front released the message at 12 a.m. Monday morning, causing much outrage in many institutions due to lack of readiness for the update. Last night, the UN held a Security Council meeting to discuss the situation in the Middle East. In light of Iran's attack on Israel, Secretary General Antonio Guterres called for maximum restraint. Israel's ambassador to the UN criticized the Council for their failure to condemn Iran for their attack on Israel, adding, This attack crossed every red line, and Israel reserves the legal right to retaliate. Both Russia and China in Sunday's council meeting added to Guterres, noting that Tehran has stated its intention to avoid further escalation and that it doesn't consider the matter to be concluded. Day 192 of the war in Gaza and following the Iranian attack, IDF spokesperson Daniel Hagari emphasized that the IDF is still committed to its original goals, returning the hostages and eliminating the remaining Hamas battalions. In the north, IDF Air Force jets struck multiple Hezbollah infrastructures, including a weapons manufacturing site in the area of Nabishi, deep inside Lebanon. The IDF is continuing to operate diligently against Hezbollah, taking down infrastructures also in the areas of Jabaa in southern Lebanon. These strikes come in response to the non-stop rocket attacks of over 100 rockets fired at northern Israel, occurring at the same time as the Iranian missile attack. Minimal damage was caused to a house in Margaliot in northern Israel, as the northern communities remain mostly evacuated. Experience the power of truth with ILTV News. If you're looking for quality content and captivating visuals, join our news community and become an integral part of our team as we embark on a mission to unveil the real Israel, dismantling the web of lies and misinformation that surround reporting on Israel. By subscribing to ILTV News, you will not only have access to the latest updates, but you will also amplify our message, creating a ripple effect that carries the truth far and wide. Subscribe today and help reshape the narrative. Available on the web, Android, and Apple.